although software testing has evolved through the years, it still struggles to keep up with the pace of software development. Even large companies often deploy software before having final test results. A solid test architecture can help you determine the right test to perform and at what time. In addition, it will set your quality program to scale more efficiently as your application grows. So hello everyone, this is Surbi from Edureka and in today's session, we will discuss how to become a test architect. But before we go ahead, if you like our video, please do not forget to subscribe the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon to never miss an update from us. Also, if you're looking for an online training certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. So without any further delay, let's discuss our today's agenda. Firstly, we will discuss why become a test architect. Then we will discuss who is a test architect. We will have a look at the test architect skills. And finally, we will discuss how to become a test architect. Firstly, let's see why become a test architect. Now the answer may lie in the job opportunities. Test Architect has a lot of job opportunities and let's have a look at the numbers. In India, there are more than 5,000 vacant jobs for Test Architect, while in US, there are more than 17,000 jobs for Test Architect. This is based on the data available on Glassdoor. Now in the Silicon Valley of India, that is Bangalore, in Bangalore alone, there are more than 2,000 vacant jobs for a Test Architect, while in the Silicon Valley of the world, that is California, there are around 3,000 vacant jobs for the same. This again is based on the data available on Glassdoor. Now at the number of job opportunities, let's have a look at the salaries. In India, the average salary of a test architect is rupees 21 lakh per year, while in US, the average salary is dollar 100,000 per year. This is again based on the data available on Glassdoor. Now that's a very good salary. Now we can see that there are ample number of job opportunities with very good salaries. That is a good reason to become a test architect. And this is going to be so in the near future as well. Testing is an important part of maintaining any software application. Therefore, most of the major companies around the world are hiring test architects. Now let's have a look at some of the major companies all around the world that are hiring test architects. They include the big companies like Accenture, IBM, Cisco, Wipro, CoForge, Cognizant, Philips, Nokia, Tech Mahindra, and many more. Let's have a look at who is a test architect. A test architect is a senior testing professional whose primary job is to design solutions to testing problems that the business faces. These solutions are solved through the application of contextually relevant processes and practices. The use of tools and technology and by applying soft skills such as effective communication and mentoring of both the team and client. Now let's have a look at how a test architect can help an organization. They can provide test strategy across different testing levels from module test to system test. They may also help set up test strategy for DevOps or CI/CD for a complex product distributed across geographical locations. They also create test documentations and projects, including impact testing, test strategy decisions, and reasoning. They are also responsible for the overall quality of deliverables across all parameters, both functional and non-functional, including performance, security, usability, etc. They also proactively bring in continuous improvements to test efficiency and effectiveness, technical risk mitigation, test coverage, execution, and automation. Now let us have a look at the roles and responsibilities of a test architect. They include designing test frameworks for test automation and testing, directing and coordinating implementation of test automation and other test tools, designing test environments, providing guidance on the selection of the most effective test design techniques, providing guidance on technical types of testing, designing methods for the creation of test data, and coordinating testing with release processes. Now let's have a look at the test architect skills. For that, let's have a look at the job description for some of the vacancies for test architect. Now according to Tosca, here we have the job description of a test automation architect vacancy at Tosca. It includes development and rollout deployment of test automation framework capabilities and they also require a TOSC experience as TOSCA architect role 
or a technical consultant and they require certification in tosca architect level 1 as well as certified in tosca asi 1 asi 2 a1 a2 tds1 tds2 and tqs while the skills required for test automation architect are in sedo include expertise in dashboard test automation proof programming concepts programming languages like java .NET, and c hash development expertise in development and implementation of automation testing frameworks like JUnit, TestNG, and Selenium, and also troubleshooting and root cause analysis ability. Similarly, automation test targeted jobs at Neurosoft requires expertise in dashboard test automation, proof programming concepts, programming languages like Java, .NET, and C hash, and expertise in automation frameworks such as JUnit, TestNG, and Selenium. UI and API level test automation expertise, XML, REST, SOAP, experience in ETL test automation framework, and troubleshooting and root cause analysis ability. So, we had a look at different skills required for test architect. Now, let us have a look at some of the mandatory skills that are required to become a test architect. They include testing skills, problem solving skills, mathematical and analytical skills, and oral and writing skills. Now let's have a look at how to become a test architect. The roadmap to becoming a test architect include firstly earning a bachelor's degree in a related field, then brushing up on your testing skills as discussed. After that, you should gain experience in a testing position. And finally, it's a good idea to gain certification in any testing technology such as a Tosca architect. Now we will see how to get started with this. So to get started with this, you can take a look at the various videos available on the Edureka YouTube channel. Even with no prior knowledge of backend engineering, just going through the videos can help you get a hold of the topic. We even have Edureka blogs where you can read up on the topic at ease. The blogs have decent information to get you familiar with the topic and help you have a clearer picture of it. These are completely free and can be accessed by anyone. But apart from these, we also have premium courses related to test architecture, where you can get 24-hour support and lifetime access to the course content. Here you can learn at your own pace with live trainers who are extremely efficient and experienced in this field. There are certification courses where you can also add to your CV. We even have classes on Saturdays so you can work and parallelly upskill your knowledge for a better opportunity in the job market. So I'm sure this is going to help you decide on how you want to become a backend engineer. Now that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. Please like this video and share if you have any doubts to ask them in the comment section below. That's it for today's session. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!